Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send automated appointment reminder SMS from Google Calendar. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is my Google Calendar. So the idea is that a person is going to add an event in Google Calendar. That same person will be getting an SMS from me. Okay, so basically this SMS will be an automated SMS and which will act as a reminder. Okay, for example, if a person is going to uh, get an event scheduled for a lecture on biology. Okay, so this is the one. And uh, he's going to tag along some guest. So let's say he's going to bring Little George. Okay, so this is the guest. And uh, ignore the location. Let me just add the phone number. So this is the phone number of that person. Okay, so that person's phone number has been added. So an event has been scheduled called as lecture on biology. And the person will be the guest that is Little George. So this is the phone number of Little George and uh, she will be getting an automated reminder from me. Now the event has been scheduled for tomorrow. Okay, that is June. Oh, I'm sorry, July 3rd. So for today, she will be getting a reminder. So basically, the idea is that if the event is scheduled on 7th, the person will be getting a reminder a day before the scheduled event. For example, this person is going to get the reminder for today because the event is scheduled for tomorrow. So this will be a reminder. And let me just give you one more example. If the event is scheduled for 9th of July, the person will be getting a reminder on 8th of July. So let me just click on save, don't send. Okay, so an event has been scheduled, lecture on biology. So the idea is that little George will be getting a reminder SMS from me. So basically, this is the screenshot of the SMS that Letty George has received. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I actually manage to send the data from Google Calendar to SMS sending app like Twilio? So basically, I have used an integration and automation software called as Pavli Connect that integrates Google Calendar and Twilio. Now, the best part of using Pavli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me just show you the process. Okay, so to begin the process, in the new tab, just type pabli.com, p a w b l y.com, pabli.com, press enter. So this is the website of pabli.com, just uh, hover on products, and here you will find connect. Just click on connect. Okay, so this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built my account, so let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am planning to give it as Google Calendar to Twilio. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. Calendar. I'm sorry about the spelling. Calendar. Okay. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So what's the deal with the trigger window as well as the action window? So when we are talking about automation in Pavli Connect, it works on the concept of triggers and action. The trigger basically means if statement. It asks a question, if this happens, what should be done? For example, if a new event is scheduled in Google Calendar, the action is an SMS will be sent by Twilio. Now, of course, we are using Twilio to send the SMS. But if you are working with any other SMS sending app like SMS Horizon, D7 Network, the process is almost the same. Okay, so using these two windows, we are going to create a workflow to integrate Google Calendar to Twilio. Now, the best part here is I will be adding the link of this workflow in the description box so that you can clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so we are going with the trigger window and here in the choose app, let me just add Google Calendar. Google Calendar, this one. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new event created, this one. And simply just click on connect. We are going with a new connection and just click on connect with Google Calendar. So as you can see, these are the series of Gmail accounts I have. Now I'm interested in working with a Google Calendar that is present in this Gmail account. So I'm selecting this one. Okay, so now it is asking me to confirm my choice. Let me just press allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Now by default, it is showing the calendar that is Aaron Manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com. Now these are all the calendars that is present in my Gmail account. 
Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, let me just show you all the calendars. So these are all the calendars, okay, all the calendars that is present here is being reflected here. Now I'm actually interested in creating a new calendar. So I'm going to create a new calendar, okay, create new calendar. And the name of the calendar is event and SMS, just a random name. And let me just click on create calendar. Okay, so a new calendar called as uh, event and SMS is being created. So the idea is that when I click on refresh, I can expect to find this newly created calendar in the drop down. So let me just refresh this and let's explore. Do we have this newly created calendar in the drop down? Okay, so yeah, event and SMS, we have selected it. So the idea is that when we create an event in this particular calendar, that is event and SMS, okay, in this particular calendar, that is event and SMS, the data will be captured by public connect when I click on save and send test request. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an event for let's say on June 16th. Okay, just a random date I picked that's all and the event is scheduled is scheduled as a lecture on English. Okay, and the person who will be attending is uh, this guy. Okay, so this is the guy that will be attending the lecture, Chaudhry Hyderi Khan. And um, let me just add the phone number. So this was the phone number. Phone and this is the phone number of Chaudhry Hyder Khan. Okay, so we have added the phone number, we have mentioned the guest and we have mentioned the event that is lecture on English. So when I click on save, okay, so let me just click on save. So the idea is that a new event has been created, lecture on English. So at this point, when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch me the data of the recently created event. In my case, the recently created event is lecture on English. So when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch me the data of the recently created event that is lecture on English. So let me do that. Okay, so yeah, we do have the event that is lecture on English. We have the description that is basically the phone number. And this is the guy that we will be sending the SMS. So yeah, so we have got all the details. Now what we're going to do here is we are going to send an SMS to this phone number. So before we do that, we actually have to isolate the number. Okay, so this is the number that we want. We don't want this part. So first of all, we are going to isolate this number. And this is how you do it. In the action window, we are going to introduce text formatter. Text formatter, this one. In the action event, we go with text basic formatting and simply just click on connect. Now we are going to mention the string. The string is basically the phone number. Okay, so this is the phone number. Now the idea is that we are going to isolate the phone number. Okay, we don't want the phone part and the dash part. So we are just going to uh, scroll down and make it as extract phone number. Easy. And simply just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, the phone number has been isolated. Excellent. Now what's next? So the idea is that we will be sending an SMS Okay, we will be sending an SMS to the person a day before the scheduled event. Now the event has been scheduled for I think it was 16th. Okay, so the idea is that we will be sending an SMS on 15th. Okay, I hope it is clear. The event is scheduled on 16th. The reminder will be sent a day before the scheduled event that will be 15th of July. So what we are going to do here is we have to make sure that we want the date. Okay, we want the date at present it is uh, 16th we want the date that is 15th so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on this plus button and in this window we are going to create 15th of july and this is how you do it first of all you introduce date time formatter date time formatter this is the one we want now in the action event just click on add slash subtract time just click on connect okay so this is the date okay so this is the date that is uh, 16th of june Okay, this is the date that we want. So using this date, we are going to uh, create the day when we will be sending the reminder that will be basically 15th of June, 15th of July. So we click here, we click here and this is the date. Okay, I'm sorry, this is the date. Oh yeah, this is the one. Okay, 16th of July. Now, basically the idea is that we are going to subtract one day from 16th of July. Okay, that will be 15th of July. So that is why I'm going to enter minus one and day. Easy. Okay, so now we actually want the format that is this. Okay, let me just add the format. This is the format that we want. 
okay year month and day hours minutes and second and this is basically the format the from format is this one that is uh, month year year month day minutes hours z we don't want this z part we actually want to convert this the day format into this particular format year month and day hours minutes and seconds this format okay so let me just click on save and send test request so this is the result okay so we have uh, got the result that is 15th of june 2021 now we have to mention the filter i'm sorry we have to mention the delay okay so obviously the data will be sent on this particular day okay so we have to restrict the flow of data up to this particular day for instance today is uh, what's the date today that is 2nd of june 2nd of july we want to make sure that data will be sent on 15th of july so we have to make sure that data will be restricted for some time and this is how you do it you introduce delay okay i'm just going to select delay so this is a popular module to uh, restrict the data flow for a specific amount of time so delay until and we have to mention the delay date we have to mention the delay date as 15th of july 2021 okay this is the one and simply just click on save and send test request so it is showing it the message that date the message has been delayed for 15th of july 2021 excellent now using twilio we are going to construct an sms and send the sms so i'm just going to click on the plus button and we are going to select the app as twilio twilio it is now in the action event how about make it a send sms message now i'm mentioning this once again we are using twilio to send the sms now of course if you're working with sms horizon d7 networks or any other sms sending apps the process is almost the same and let me just click on connect we are going with a new connection and in the new connection we have to fill out the account sid the authorization token and once again the account sid so to get all these details let's have a visit to twilio so this is my twilio account and what i'm going to do here is first of all i'm just going to uh, click on settings now i think i may have to authorize because yes i actually have to authenticate this is because uh, i just left this website for a significant amount of time so that is why it is demanding password once again so this is my login password which i'm not really going to show you okay so we have the api credentials section here here we have two choices the live credentials as well as the test credentials we are going with the live credential so this is the account sid and this is the authorization token so let me just uh, click here so this is the account sid so i'm just copying this and i'm just going to paste it here then we have once again the account sid be to be entered here so we have pasted it here then we have the authorization token so let me just remove the privacy and copy this and paste it here so this is the authorization token we have entered the account sid authorization token and once again the account sid all we have to do is just click on save so when you click on save we will find three fields the body of the sms the sender number and the recipient number so we are going to begin with the recipient number so we click here okay so if you may remember we have isolated the recipient number so this is the recipient number and we have mapped it now remember this it is asking for a particular format and the format is you include plus in front of this whole number okay plus 91 is the country code for country for my country that is india so make sure that you follow your particular country code plus 91 it is then we have the sender number so let me just straight away take you to twilio and this is basically my twilio number through which i will be sending the sms so let me just uh, show you the sms i mean the sender number okay so this is the sms number sender number i'm just going to copy mine i'm just going to paste it here okay so i think we are ready then we have the body of the sms the body of the sms is hello i'm sorry this is an automated reminder for the event and the event was we, that is something we have uh, marked that is a lecture on english scheduled on the event was scheduled on 16th i think okay yeah event was scheduled on 16th this is an automated reminder for the event lecture on english scheduled on 16th of july 2021 so at this point all you have to do is just click on save and send test request for now this message will be sent to the person okay for now it will be sent to the person because we are clicking on save and send test request because we are just building the workflow but after this when the entry is made when a new event is created in google calendar 
the SMS will be sent a day before the scheduled event. For instance, if uh, the event will be scheduled on 21st of uh, July or 21st of August, the SMS will be sent on 20th of July or 20th of August, one day before the scheduled event. So let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the response is a positive one and this is basically the screenshot of the SMS. Excellent. So the presence of this data indicates we have a successful integration between Twilio as well as Google Calendar. Now before you leave, let me just uh, minimize all these windows one by one and let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I have minimized all the windows. Okay. So this is basically the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Google Calendar to Pabdi Connect and then you have isolated the phone number. After that, you have subtracted one day okay, before uh, from the scheduled event so that you can send the automated reminder. And after that, you have established a delay. The delay will be the delay date that is basically one day before the scheduled event. And using Twilio, you are going to send the SMS. So now we have a perfect flow of data between Google Calendar and Twilio. Excellent. Not just these two apps, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Furthermore, if you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Also, the link of Public Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. Thank you so much for watching.